Hi guys, Barnaby here for Spurred On with Craig Vi for part two of this week's Youth Watch where we're going to talk about all our young guns who are out on loan across the UK. We're going to start with Grant Ward who's out at Rotherham. What did he get up to this yeah, week? Yeah, Grant Ward started, which is really, really good to see. Um, he scored a lot of goals in pre-season for them. Mm. Uh, I thought he would really hit the ground running. It, it, it's been a bit patchy for him so far, just a few sort of sub-appearances, but it was really nice to see him thrown into the mix, particularly against QPR, oh, yeah. a team who are probably going to do some good things this season in the Championship, I believe. Thing. Maybe. Charlie Austin's still there for the time being, banging, it, banging them in, and did so again during this game. They actually lost 4 2. But to all intents and purposes, Grant Ward had quite a good game. Um, mm. he, he had lots of energy, something he possesses in, in bags full. Um, he, was in, he was involved in quite a few sort of key moments whilst he was on the pitch, uh, cleared the ball a few times. Uh, he actually won a free kick for, for them, which didn't uh, amount to anything. But he, he looked like he was being involved and, and really wanted to be there. He, he basically was, he kicked the ball a few times. He kicked the ball a and few did times. Some stuff. Yeah, did some stuff. But he didn't a lot score, of running. so we can't really rave about <laughs> no, it. No, no. Okay, well, that's fine, but it's good yeah. that he's getting game time. Now, Connor Gilvey, who's over at Stevenage. Yeah. Stevenage, which is near where you live. It so is. Stevenage is where I live. Yeah, well, yeah, but um, don't try and track me down. No. Um, I mean, I don't think anyone would go to Stevenage to no. track anyone down. Even people that live there try not to go to Stevenage. There you go. So. so, what about yeah. Connor? Yeah, he did well. He did well. It was his first full 90 minutes. And uh, again, really good to see. I, I actually saw him earlier in the season, in the preseason, mm -hmm. uh, where a Spurs 11 played against Stevenage. And he played very well in that game. It was very solid. He doesn't get up the pitch. Uh, quite as much what as like a Kyle Walker Peters. He? he plays a left back. Left back right. So compared to Kyle Walker Peters, for example, yeah. who is you know that rampaging yeah, right we back. We saw him in Malaysia, didn't we? He, yeah, he, looked good. he does. Yeah, and he's a, he's a he's a real talent. But Conor Ogilvy is is solid. He's a solid player. He's reliable. Uh, and he, he's got a, a really good cross on him as well, really good okay. uh, forward pass. So um, apparently, again, he played really, really well. Stevenage won 2 0, and Teddy Sheringham is supposed to be quite impressive. Sounds with. promising. And I really want Teddy to do well at Stevenage, actually. Okay, yeah. and then our man, uh, the, the trickster, Nathan Adoa, he came yep. on again for Rangers, didn't he? He they, did. They won 1 0 against him. They, they did, yeah. They, they sort of nicked that game, really, yep. I think. Um, and he, he didn't really do much to influence the game. He tried a few step overs again, Obviously. took a few players on, as you do when you're Nathan Adoa. Um, and I think he did all right. But um, I, I think you can see already that they're placing quite a bit of trust in this player. Yeah. They um, gave him the number 10 shirt. Well, yeah, there you go. My number. Except yeah. for when I'm in goal. Uh, okay, and finally, a bit of bad news to end on, unfortunately. Uh, our man Shaq, Shaq Cool first. He's got a, yeah. uh, a, thigh, a thigh tear over at Wigan and has been sent back to Spurs for treatment. For treatment, yeah, which is a bit of a shame, really. I mean, it was only a short-term loan anyway. I think it was a two-month agreement. Mm. Um, I, I'm assuming this will keep him out for all of that, yeah. um, which is disappointing because, again, he came on... Uh, in a game for them a couple of weeks ago and and did all right. Um, it, it was probably the right kind of level club for him as well, and yeah. it would have been interesting to see how that developed, but unfortunately, we've had to bring him back to the club for treatment. So. Well, there's nowhere better for him to be than at Hotspur Way, where the treatment facilities are excellent. In fact, I'd like them to put a little bit in for Eva Canero. Yeah, I think, uh, why not? I think having a down Hotspur Way would really, mm. really make a difference to the club. Uh, because she's an amazing doctor and for no other reason. Anyway, let us know what you thought about our Youth Watch in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Craig, we'll see you next week for another Youth Watch. Thank you. Cheers, guys. To be in the squad for this weekend? Yes, I think this we no, no, don't have too much time to, to sign player. I think that uh, Tuesday is the last day, I think, Tuesday. 